All right, today I'm going to be reviewing the PF Flyers. Some hot tops. Now, as you can see here, let me change the camera. As you can see here, these are uh, got a pretty chunky sole. They're, they're more like an iconic brand, kind of like Converse. Um, they have that kind of waffle grid, griddle type um, vulcanized rubber sole. See that? They come laced uh, up like this. So, I mainly got these for uh, some weightlifting shoes. Um, I wanted something with a flat sole. I looked into some different brands that make um, specifically weightlifting shoes. You want something that's pretty flat, so um, you don't want nothing that's going to uh, give under weight. You want to be stable when you're squatting and doing some power lifting moves. So I seen a couple of guys uh, lifting Converse and whatnot. I'm not too big on Converse's and uh, on the styling of their high tops. As you see here, this is their, uh, I guess you can say they're famous for their posture foundation. Um, it's vulcanized rubber, um, patent in December 5th, 1933. So they, they've been in the game pretty long, uh, just about longer than uh, any current a sneaker or a shoe line um, so at its thickest width is close to three quarters of an inch um, that's a pretty thick insole I'm gonna try them on and go uh, do a couple of exercises and I get some footage of that and then let you know what I think after. All right. So I just finished working out and I have to say I'm amazed at the uh, comfort of the shoes. Um, the great thing is they didn't have much compression. I was surprised at how comfortable and yet how sturdy these were. It was easy doing the uh, squats and up to 225 pounds. Um, but normally I get a fair amount of uh, compression anytime I wear something like Nike Freeze or the Reebok uh, Zigtex or uh, Shox, anything like that. So hands down, these are um, the best ones I've worn for specifically strength training type movement. So go out and get your pair. Till next time, have a good one.